Oh hey, I'm Joe the Blue Wizard, and welcome to this episode of the Blue Wizard Basics, the show where I make a quick video demonstrating one basic recipe or one basic technique with the pure purpose of inspiring your creativity. Because as any good cook or baker knows, if you know the basics, you can add a little bit of your inspiration in order to make hundreds if not thousands of different tasty creations. In today's episode, we're going to be making my recipe for basic chocolate cake. Now, this is probably the recipe that I get the most compliments on. That might have something to do with the fact that it's also the recipe that I tend to make the most. It is a dense and moist, delicious chocolate cake recipe, and I know that it's going to become your favorite chocolate recipe too. So uh, let's get rolling. Okay, to start our recipe, we of course need to first preheat our oven to 350 degrees. And then we're going to bring in all of our ingredients. All right, and there you have it. Now the first thing that we need to do is take our two sticks of butter over to the stove. We're going to turn our stove on to a medium heat and melt our butter. Once the butter is melted, we're going to add in one cup of water, one third of a cup of unsweetened cocoa powder, and one teaspoon of instant espresso powder. Trust me, it's not going to make it taste like coffee. It's just going to enhance the flavor of the chocolate. If you don't have espresso powder, you can easily substitute instant coffee. Just whisk that up, let it boil for about 30 seconds, and then bring it back to your station. So once our chocolate mixture is ready, it's time to work on our other ingredients. In a large bowl, I have two cups of all-purpose flour, into which I'm going to mix two cups of regular white sugar, a teaspoon of baking soda, and a teaspoon of salt. Give that a good whisk, just to make sure everything's evenly combined and there's no lumps in the flour. Then we'll work on our other wet ingredients. Inside of our measuring cup, I have one half of a cup of buttermilk, to which I'm going to add three large eggs. Whole thing, yolk and all. I'm also going to add in two teaspoons of vanilla, which of course we know I never measure. That's about right. Give that a good whisk. All right, now it's time to combine everything together. Let's start by adding our slightly cool chocolate mixture into our flour. And we're gonna give that a quick whisk. Just to combine all the flour, make sure that there's no dry pockets. And then finally, let's add in the rest of our wet ingredients. And then whisk that in. And there's the batter done. All right, to bake our cake, I've prepared two nine inch round baking pans. I have sprayed them with nonstick spray and I've also lined them on the bottom with parchment paper. There is no chance that this cake is going to stick. So then I'm just going to divide the cake batter evenly between the two pans. If you are one of those fancy schmancy professional chefs uh, and bakers, you'll probably uh, weigh this out to make sure that everything is equal. Um, but I don't got time for that. So I just pour in eyeball it. All right, I think that's about even. And now let's head to the oven. We are going to bake these cakes on the middle rack of our oven for a total of 40 minutes or until a toothpick is inserted into the center and comes out clean. Once that happens, we're going to take and bring our pans over to our cooling racks to cool for about 10 to 15 minutes before we remove the cakes from the pan and let them cool completely. Definitely wait for the cakes to cool completely because you do not want to ice them while they're still hot or your icing will melt. Sad for you. And that's our chocolate cake done. Ready to ice. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please make sure to hit the like button as well as the subscribe button so this way you don't miss out on any of the fun that we're having here on this channel. If you want to show me any of the cool creations that you've made with these basics, make sure to tag me on either Instagram or Twitter at JoeTheBlueWiz. If you want this recipe or any of my other recipes, make sure that you go and click the link down below or just head straight to BlueWizardFood.com. And remember kids, you don't have to be a professional chef or even a wizard in order to make magic in the kitchen.